Well, you uh, in 2012 contemplated, there were preliminary reports that you contemplated asking your cabinet for permission to potentially strike Iran's nuclear facilities. Do you still plan on keeping that option open even if this uh, uh, deal is implemented by the United Nations and by the United States? Chuck, I'm the only Israeli left standing who never talks about our military option. But I will say <laughs> this, I prefer a diplomatic solution. You know why? Because for any military option, the country that will pay the biggest price is always Israel. So we want a diplomatic solution, but a good one, one that rolls back Iran's inf uh, nuclear infrastructure and one that ties the final lifting of restrictions on Iran's nuclear program with the change of Iran's behavior, namely that they stop their aggression in the region, mm -hmm. that they stop their worldwide terrorism, and that they stop calling and working for the annihilation of Israel. These are the requirements that there's still time to put in place, and I'll, I'll use whatever means I have, including right. this program to try to persuade people to go for this deal, which is the only one that will give us uh, peace and security.